Hi guys, so my employer has asked me to create an API to an existing MySQL database. And well, hmm. Initially I investigated GraphQL and Prisma, but that looked too difficult to sort of run Prisma alongside the database and and yeah, GraphQL infers the schema, but you still have to maintain it. So I thought I would just try implement a straightforward RESTful API in Go for MySQL. Of course, the tutorial that's quite popular is one by Kelvin, Building and Testing a REST API. It's actually comes from another, inspired with it by another tutorial. And I checked out the code and I, have come across this SQLX library or helper for, for MySQL. So I thought I would, you know, change change the code up to use SQLX. And I just wanted to quickly show you what that gives you. That gives you about, um, hmm, I, I removed 40 lines of code at 18. I, I mean, it gives you less code, which is always a nice thing. I mean, obviously we're introducing a library here, but I'm sure you agree that the code here becomes quite nice. Um, also, you don't have to scan things necessarily. It does this intelligent struct scan thing, so it puts it into the structure. Do check out the repo. I'll link it below. And um, another bonusy thing is if you're running Docker like a like you should. <laughs> Um, I have also checked in this Docker Compose file. What does it do? It runs um, a database, sets up a um, password, but it also runs this SQL stuff. So it basically just gets you going quicker, right? Uh, and all, all that thing does is like set up the database and things like that. So if I go Docker Compose up, um, you know, assuming that ooh, I should have gone Docker Compose up minus D, never mind. <laughs> Uh, go API. No, not that one. So if now if I run gin here, and then I go back to here, and then I go localhost 3000 users, and you should see no users. Null. And what shall I do here? I should, uh, I should post, shouldn't I? Um, actually, I usually use Postman for this job. So I can do, I'll make a John and a Joe who's 52, not 42. And you can see here that there's, there's a RESTful interface. So it was that easy to get um, a database going using Docker, right? And Jin is just the, the auto reloader from when I, when I change the code. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you. Um, SQLX for less code, how to get a database environment running up and locally using Docker Compose. There's also this thing called Adminer that allows you to have a look at, at, the, at the schema through this sort of PHP MyAdmin type interface. Um, where's that table here? So you can go select, I can, you can see Joe, John and Joe. So now, now that I know how to make a RESTful interface somewhat, um, the big challenge I have is basically getting, I have several tables that need a RESTful interface. Now I have the challenge of getting the table and moving it into a Golang struct. I did find this, but I did um, um, notice a few problems with it and hopefully the maintainer will fix them. But as you can see, the the structs here are pretty complex and you know who knows what happens with the embedded stuff. So, so to rewind, I started with looking at GraphQL and Prisma, being a bit unsatisfied by, by having the complexity of running another server alongside the database. I mean, that's just oof, mental, right? And if you think JSON is pretty bad in Golang, just wait until you interface with a, a, a database. It's just a world of pain. I mean, how do you store stuff? I, Guys, please let me know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm struggling here with um, with databases. Um, you know, I, the Mongo driver for, for Golang isn't very inspiring either, so. 
So yeah, I'm I'm sort of not enjoying this whole data interfacing with Go uh, part. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you learned something new. SQLX is nice, nicer, nicer library to deal with. Uh, already Golang's MySQL library is a bit weird, and uh, and Docker Compose to get your environment up and down pretty nicely and easily. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe. <laughs> Sorry, bye. <laughs>